really there's not that much work involved with this problem because you're not really doing any integration um, in the line integral sense. So here we're asked to compute the work done by this conservative vector field along any smooth curve C from this point to this point. Okay, so it's a, it's a line segment in three-dimensional space. Uh, so, well, actually, the, the, the straight line is, 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 is the line segment, but we can go along any path. So we might go along the line segment path, but we can also go along any other path. Okay. Now usually what we would do here, we, we, we're usually given some sort of curve to work with and we parameterize it. But here, we, we're working with any, any smooth curve from the origin to the point 1, comma 1, comma 1. So, let's see if we can apply our fundamental theorem of line integrals here. So what we would like to do is find a f such that the gradient of this f is this vector field up here. So now this is this is a, a challenge that you will have to um, face if you get a question like this. You have to somehow produce this this function little f. So can anyone see what kind of little f my, uh, what kind of function my little f should be? X, y, z. That's 1. X, y, z plus a constant. That would be fine as well. But with this one, it's, it's pretty easy to guess. But sometimes it's not so easy to guess. So let me just write down an extra line to give you some... We want to solve df dx equals this, yz, df dy equals a second component function, x times z, and df dz equals x times y. So I've got three equations there, and essentially if I integrate them, so if I integrate over here, I'll get x, y, z, with respect to x, I'll get f equals x, y, z plus a function of y and z, which are like constants. If I integrate the middle one, I'll get, with respect to y, I'll get f equals x, y, z plus, you know, a constant inverted commas of integration, a function involving x and z. And similarly for the last one. Now, if I just compare those, I can choose the functions for each integration just to be the zero functions. Okay, sometimes you, you compare them. Okay, so that's our function there. So how good is it going to be now? So F is a gradient field, and to calculate the work, it's just the line integral. Now, by the fundamental theorem of line integrals, it's just this, Footley. So what is F at the point B? Well, B is just... 1, 1, 1. So I go up here, just 1 times 1 times 1. And at 0, okay, so this is going to be 1. How good is that? Huh? How good is that? Hmm. That's pretty good. you can see exactly how powerful this theorem is. 
It's just the endpoints rather than the whole curve you need to worry about. Okay? That's the key. That's the key.